What's up YouTube? In this video today, very good question came up actually and it was in regards to how when you're putting in multiple video tracks uh, for your project, will the audio not end up overlapping with each other? And yes, yes it will. However, this video is going to be about how do you prevent that from happening? Or how do you go through selecting the track that you want as your main audio track without having all the other audio tracks taking over your moin, your moin, oh boy, main objective, your moin objective? Ah, it's been one of those days. Anyway, without the other audio tracks taking over, um, so you can isolate one audio track at a time in order to create a better project. So this is just going to be about the audio in relation to the video clips that you've put in and how to separate the two of them and work with audio. That's pretty much it. So let's just get right down to it and let's go. Okay, full disclaimer. Since we're going to go step by step by step by step, this is going to be a pretty extended video. But by the time the video was done, you should see the before, the after, how it was all compiled, how it was all put together, and you should be good to go. So hopefully you stick around to the very end, and let's see how this all works out. Okay, so now that you've seen the intro to the video, let's get into uh, grabbing some other clips here. So just as usual, you just select the video thing there. Uh, let's see, where should I go? Let's just stick with the video that I was going to do at the beginning, working with audio. So I'm going to just bring in some random clips that have pseudo nothing to do with each other. So I'm just holding down uh, control and using my left mouse button to select each individual clip. You can just open all of them if you wish. And it'll say add to layer, which means it'll just line them all up together on the same timeline layer. Now, what I'm going to do is actually bring this down because I'm just clicking and dragging. And uh, because I'm going to fade this clip into this one. So I think that's about right. Let's see. And let's see how this all works out. Ugh, why does it have... Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, you want to keep this highlighted and just move the... Just bring the cursor back to the beginning of this track. Now select the track above it. And now, when you go to Video Effects and go to Transitions, I personally like the Diffuse one. Because you've already lined up the... Uh, the clip underneath uh, that main track whoops it should okay no it did not line up okay there we go now it should line up now select the track above okay now I just need to move this over and go back to the scene. I always rewind it slightly just to see if it works out. Oh, this all works out. Ugh, oh, why does it have to be raining? Okay, perfect. So, we could do that. Um, now, if you want to see, well, I guess multiple clips all at once, I can bring this down. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Select this again. Select this one and bring it down. There we go. Where's the... Okay, perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this clip. And I'm going to use Shift and drag. That should go there. All right, perfect. And this will actually end up over. I'm just doing it this way. It all works out. Just to Ugh, why does it have to be raining? Okay, so just to show. Uh, why? This is, why? I'm just quickly showing so, some of the. 
obviously you can hear that there's two different tracks happening at the same time. So there's a couple ways you can deal with that. You can actually uh, right click on the clip that you want and it'll bring up this options panel. Go to audio effects and then you can go to amplitude and you can go to silence. Yes, and you want to silence the entire clip because basically what it was doing because the cursor is here, it was only silencing from the cursor over, but you want to do the entire clip. So now if we go back, this all works out. Ugh, why does it have to be raining? Why? Why? Or if you don't want that, then what you can do is undo what you did, select it, press delete on the keyboard. And let's see how this all works out. Ugh, why does it have to be okay, raining? So just to show, uh, why? This is, why? I'm just quickly showing some of the audio. That so if I want to silence this one, what I can do is I can, I've already shown you how to do the actual silence. The other thing that you can do is actually use the properties panel and split to video and audio. And you will see that up here is the actual audio track from this clip. If you delete this, there is no audio left in this track whatsoever. So let's delete that. And now let's go back. This all works out. Okay, so just to show, uh, this is, I'm just quickly showing some of the audio that I actually do use. Um, yes, it is mounted upside down to a stand, little makeshift boom arm. And uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it, really. Uh, I was going to use this as well. Um, I, I, you know what, yeah, I might as well, I'll, I'll do that. So let me just delete this track because we don't need that at all. And let's bring this up. Okay. Is that even? All right. So let's play this again. And you'll have two different tracks at the same time. Okay, so right, just so to I'm show, just going to quickly show uh, you is, some of the audio I'm equipment that I do actually use. And I don't like that because that is not. Okay, there we go. Uh, audio that I not really explaining do anything but this is again um, just to show yes, how you can mix and match down. okay so obviously there's two different audio tracks happening at the same time now say you don't want to use the audio from the main track that you were using so we can again split the audio and video take that delete it we want to use the audio from this so you can split to audio and even if you delete the video clip, the audio from this clip will remain, uh, which I will show you in a bit. Let's just go back and see how this plays out. Let's see how this all works out. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the audio equipment that I do actually use. Not really explaining anything, but this is again just to show how you can mix and match certain things. So here is my AD3 uh, microphone preamp mounted to a Comica V30 Lite shotgun microphone. Okay, now this gets a little off. So what I'm going to do is actually split this. Always click off, click back on. So I'm only working on this half of what I've just split. And uh, just below that, I or I usually have my wireless microphone set up there. And then on the action cam, which I've now been using for my recordings. Okay, so let's change the video from... Okay, we're not going to use any of this, so I'm going to delete that and just work with the audio. Now I'm just selecting and pressing delete Gun on the keyboard microphone. to delete things. And uh, just below that, I... Or I usually have my wireless microphone set up there and then on. Okay, so I need to find the action cam area. 
really Let's explaining anything, but this is. is again just to show how you can mix and match certain things. So here is my AD3 uh, microphone preamp mounted to a Comica V30 Lite shotgun microphone, and and uh, just okay. So let's go back again, um, and uh, just. And I did tell you it was going to be a fairly long video. 30 light. This is the Can wonderful world of video editing. Okay, so I want to split this now. Because there's a part of the this I want V30 out. V30 light shotgun microphone. And uh, just below that, I, or I usually have my wireless microphone set up there and then Okay, so I want to use the video shotgun microphone, after and this. Uh, just below that, I. Okay, so now I want to split that, and I want to move this one out of the way. I want to bring that in here, and now let's see if this makes a bit more sense mounted to a Comica V30 Lite shotgun microphone and uh, just below that I or I usually have my wireless microphone set up there and then on the action cam which I've now been using for my recordings okay no that didn't quite work three uh, microphone preamp mounted to a Comica V30 Lite shotgun microphone and uh, just below that, I. So I'm going to actually put this back in because it might make a bit more sense here. Comica V30. Oh, ah, there we go. It wasn't all the way in. Okay. To to a Comica V30 light shotgun microphone and uh, just. So that's not quite working. Not really explaining anything, but this is again just to show how you can mix and match certain. Okay, let's cut that piece out. Not really. Ex actually use. Okay, so I want to split this. So I want to cut that section out. Whoops. Not really explaining anything, but this is again just to show how you can mix and match certain things. So, okay, split that. And I want to remove this section here, bring that in there. Now, let's see if this makes more sense. All right, so I'm just going to quickly show you some of the audio equipment that I do actually use. Here is my AD3 uh, microphone preamp mounted to a Comica. V30 light shotgun microphone. And I think this is going to work out. Light shotgun microphone. And uh, just below that, I, or I usually have my wireless microphone set up there. And then on the action cam, which I've now been using for my recordings, I have the receiver, uh, sorry, receiver or the transmitter. It is the transmitter for uh okay so i messed up with the audio there so what i'm going to actually do receiver is change this as well i have the receiver uh sorry receiver the receiver okay so i'm going to split this for uh actually no sorry my bad <laughs> yeah so i have the receiver uh okay i'm gonna cut that out and i'm gonna bring this in let's go back been using for my recordings i have the receiver for the uh, wireless microphone system um, that picks up all the inputs from the actual microphone 
those microphones transmit to the receiver receiver plugs into the camera so all different audio tracks um yeah including this one but now you'll see exactly how this works okay so with all that said and done that's really all there is to it in a nutshell uh, there are various ways that you can actually go about working with your audio tracks within VSDC. Uh, like I said, you can right click on a track, go to audio effects, go to amplitude and silent. Now, you can't do that now because I've already separated the audio. But if we were to go to a non-separated audio track, go to video effects, sorry, audio effects, ampl amplitude, and you can silence it or you can just literally split the audio as I showed you before and that's really all there is to it well as uh, you've seen it is pretty simple to go around splitting audio and all that fun stuff in VSDC I hope this video helps you out uh, if you like the video leave a like please do subscribe if you have not already because that helps me out as long as any other channels that you've been to that you feel is a valuable content always subscribe to them as well Hit the notification bell to make sure that you get notified when we upload new content or when I upload new content. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, I leave that information at the bottom of the description. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below and you will see me on my next video. I'm out.